Welcome to our lecture online. So in the previous video we gave an indication that with a binomial distribution we may be able to use the principles of a normal distribution if the number of trials was large enough. So here in this video we're going to go back and calculate the probability of a particular outcome when we have n trials, n being 14, and a probability of success being 0.5. So we drew a line histogram of that particular uh, situation and noticed that the highest probability occurs when um, the outcome is 7 and there's a lower probability when the outcome is 4. But then if we draw a histogram of that, notice we end up with these rectangles. And it turns out that the probability of any one of these outcomes is proportional to the area of those rectangles. So it turns out that if you're going to be calculating the area and having that equate to the probability, we can then use these, the techniques of the normal distribution so that we can then get the outcome of the uh, what we call binomial distribution. So let's see if that is indeed the case. So here what we've done is we've gone back and grabbed the equation to calculate the probability of a particular outcome in x when there's n trials, x is the outcome, P is the probability of success raised to the x power, x of course is the outcome, and Q is the probability of failure, and that's raised to the n minus x exponent. So this here is 14 factorial because we have 14 possible outcomes, but we have 14 trials, and we divide that by 4 factorial and 10 factorial. 0.5 is the probability of success raised to the 4th power, and 0.5 is the probability of failure raised to the 10th power, and that comes out to be 6.11%. So there's a little over 6% probability that the outcome will be a 4 when the probability of success is 0.5 and the number of trials is 14. So now we're wondering if we're going to calculate the area under the curve here for this particular rectangle if we get a value that's very similar to that. Again, the greater the number n, the more closely they will match. But for a relatively small number of n, n being 14, let's see how well that corresponds. So in the next video, we're going to use the, the, the technique for the normal distribution to see if we get a result very similar to 6.11%. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how to do that. 